Hi, Dr. Katzen. Hello, how are you? Good, welcome to Plastic Surgery 90210. Thanks for having me. Are you ready to react to another video? Yep, let's do it. All right, just to warn you, this is kind of a sad one. Oh, it's all right. It's about children being forced into plastic surgery. Oh, sounds horrible. Okay. Oh, no. All right, okay. well, play it when you're ready. Hope I'll do okay. Okay, here we go. Trigger warning. This video contains... We're about to go meet a nine-year-old girl who was advised by her mom to get double mm -hmm. eyelid surgery. Nine-year-old. procedure that adds an extra fold in your eyelid to make your eyes look bigger. Wow. Japan is ranked first yeah, in the world for having the most number of plastic surgery procedures. 33 year old Monica has had more than 100 surgeries. That's crazy. 100 surgeries. Wow. 100 surgeries. I'm on a journey to discover why young children are getting double eyelid surgery and how the pursuit of beauty can sometimes lead to a deadly addiction. Wow. Nine year old. That seems pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm meeting Bucci and Michi, a mother and daughter team that runs a YouTube channel discussing plastic surgery and makeup. Plastic surgery and makeup. All right. She recently had the double eyelid procedure. It's legal for minors in Japan to get plastic surgery as long as the parents consent. Wow. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what percentage of Japanese children in Japan have plastic surgery. I wonder what percentage of Americans under 18 have cosmetic plastic surgery with their parents' consent. Double eyelid surgery is the most common surgical procedure in Japan. In 2020, more than 100... That's amazing. Think of the, uh, the number that's the most common procedure in Japan. In the U.S., it's liposuction. So it's interesting that to me that you have Japanese culture changing their, the look of their eyes and changing their ethnicity and that being the most popular procedure. Interesting. 33,000 surgeries were performed on patients' eyes. So that's interesting. The the child is not necessarily focused on the look, but she believes that um, she is a better person or a better looking person because she endured pain. So that's kind of an interesting twist on things. <laughs> Wow. And I thought she was very pretty before. Lucci is the mother of five children, two girls and three boys, one of them severely handicapped. She's convinced that the success of her daughters relies almost exclusively on their looks. Mm. <laughs> She's drawing on her eyelids. All right. So she's having surgery, so people give her sweets and compliments? Wow. 
ミッチは自然,自然な奥舞台みたいな感じしたかったんだけどね、うん、もうそんなんでもう40万ぐらい払うなら全然もうガッツリしようよって怖かった整形はい意識がないうんなんかちょっと麻酔が効きづらくてパニックを起こしちゃったから Wow, this is crazy. I mean,、uh, I think if you tried this in the US, it would border on like child abuse and stuff like that.、Um, so, again, again, different cultures, different standards, different approaches to things. Wow, so patient's awake, it's a child. And she's crying, and it took him two hours. So, I don't know if you've ever operated on a crying child. It's very, very difficult. So, you know, we're doing this,、uh, or they're doing this cosmetically too. Hmm. Usu usually, my patients are asleep. Why do you think that happened? What went wrong there?、Uh, you know, anything's possible. And、yeah. they clearly know that she's crying. Yeah, they clearly know. I mean, many things, many things can happen why things take longer than normal. Usually, in a case like that, it's probably bleeding or pain control. Sometimes you can't get enough local in there or local anesthetic to make the patient comfortable.、Uh, so you keep on giving more and more and more, and that occupies a lot of time. Sometimes the patient's very anxious, maybe not in this case, but they may have actually gotten to a little bit of bleeding too. You've got to make sure that that surgical site. Is dry and、uh, no bleeding, so everything heals right. And also, when patients are crying and huffing and puffing and straining, it increases their blood pressure, which increases the blood loss during the procedure. So, all those sort of go together, and it can make a 20 minute procedure turn into you know, several hours. They're in Ichigaya. To a study in 2021. Ichi is number one, Gaya is city. Or influence from family and friends. Many young girls like Michi begin with a small procedure, or p u c h i s e k e and in some cases, they gradually increase the number of procedures to become a so called plastic surgery cyborg. Moms like Michi feel plastic surgery is a way to boost self esteem, but she's also faced strong backlash online. A lot of that is in the US too. A lot of patients have plastic surgery to improve self esteem. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't personally don't think people have it easier if they look cuter, but that's just my opinion. That's what I was asking. Yeah, but you, she could always get the、um, surgery when she's an adult. Maybe she doesn't necessarily want it, the child, necessarily want the surgery now, but maybe. She wants to seek the approval of her mom and、uh, go with her mom's、uh, suggestions and advice, and that's why she's having the surgery. But maybe at least let her grow up to 18 or 21 before she decides what is going to be almost permanent. Skid up, but I don't know. Rank up. So, what do you think about the reason? So it was interesting, she said the, her child would rank up by having cosmetic surgery. So, in the mom's mind, people are ranked because of their looks. So, so that begs the argument I mean, how young is too young? We got nine years old here. Why not go seven, five, two years old? 18 months. Why don't you do it when they're a year just born? It's、uh, perhaps easier surgery and they heal up better and less scarring. Why don't we do it in utero while you're inside mom's tummy? How extreme are you going to go? 
2人でクリクリしてて可愛かったねっていう印象がつくんで中途半端な年齢になってさせたらあ整形したねってなるじゃないですか周りも小さい時やらせてた方がもうもともとこういう顔だっていう印象を yeah, but how, how young do you wanna go? 植え付けさせたかったっていうのもありますねそこ世間にもう自分にコンプレックス抱えて生きてほしくないっていうのが一番あって。And perhaps the mom is、um, projecting on her daughter here because she wished she had had the surgery done at a younger age. ママは。お金も出してくれて可愛くさせてくれてラミは幸せだよってありがとうママ<笑>さよなら化粧からまず始まりでただし化粧というのは基本的に一日が終わったら落としてしまうので,でそれを繰り返していくうちにあの例えば、えー、プチ整形である程度自分の理想とする姿をできるだけその状態維持したいとそのやっていない<笑>Now, you also have to differentiate are these people, are these you know, patients seeking it for their own satisfaction or to just increase their number of viewers on their Instagram channel or their YouTube channel? <laughs> That, that's the future. More than 90% of teenage girls in Japan contemplate plastic surgery, according to a study in 2021. Professor Tomohiro Suzuki. 90%, that's pretty high. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Expert on self perception and has released various studies on the topic. 美容整形をさせる親の心理を説明していただけますでしょうか。例えば親がですね、やはり、えー、美容整形をやって、それによってこう例えばこういろんなベネフィットというか、えー、ポジティブな何かの経験をすることによって、で子供にもこうさせようと。親として見れば、多分子供のためというふうな思いもあるのかもしれませんが、でそうするとその曖昧なまま生活を受けて、しかしその後成長していったときに。これはもともと自分がやりたいものではなかったんじゃないかと思った時にはやはりその例えば親によって、えー、させられてしまったみたいな感じで、えー、まあ親子関係ですねいろいろこう問題が、えー、生じる。Yeah, I think that's very dangerous if it turns out poorly or if the patient, the child realizes later on that they didn't want the surgery, then there is going to be a lot of resentment between the child and the parent. So I think his、uh, Quite right in addressing that potential toxicity between the,、uh, the parent and the child. あの一つはあの精神的にポジティブな影響もあるとは思います例えば自分がより自分らしく感じられるえより生き生きと生活できるただもちろんネガティブな影響もあって例えば理想像というのも実は思ったよりも曖昧だったりしますそうすると美容整形を行って、えー、理想の姿になったとしてもさらにその後にまた理想の姿のというのが変わってしまって今度はその理想の姿に合わせるようにまた。Yeah, your ideal of the ideal body image can change over time. So, you know, what may look good this year in five years may not be the trend. So, you got to be very careful too of that, of cultural、uh, and societal changes too. してしまうことももちろん
、えー、あり得ると思いますのでそういう時にはどうやってその後の自分を受容するのかというところで、えー、問題が生じる可能性は考えられます。Well, we know that's not true. That's not true either. Maybe, I don't know. Say, 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 でも任せますけど基本的にはやっぱ鼻はやってほしいか。It's interesting that、uh, the mother defines a line of where she stops. You know, she thinks the child will need more surgeries, but here she's going to leave it up to them to decide. Now, where do, you, where, do, where do you draw the line? I mean, do you say, okay, she needs a nose job, and maybe she needs a chin implant, and maybe she needs a facelift, and hair transplant, breast augmentation, tummy tuck, leg. Lipo, and we're all going to do that before she's 14. So, I mean, it becomes a very, very slippery slope once you start to go down that,、uh, that aisle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hmm. Okay, that was the end of the girl's segment. So, that was a nine year old girl. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah, I, I, think, it's,、um, I think it's crazy.、Um, as a parent of two daughters, I would never ever subject my daughters to that.、Uh, it's, again, it's a personal choice, it's a cultural choice.、Um, it's just different.、Uh, in Japan, they're much more accepting,、uh, the laws are different. Um, and I think as a community,、um, it's just a very different culture.、Um, I just know personally,、uh, I wouldn't be doing this.、Uh, I wouldn't suggest it. And as a surgeon, I don't think I would,、uh, in the US, advocate this. Yeah. And do you think this might lead the child to having? Mental health issues or body dysmorphia in the future? Yeah, I mean, it could work both ways. As the、uh, professor in this video、uh, said, it can have positive impacts, whether the、uh, plastic surgery makes you feel,、um, it makes you have better self esteem, it makes you feel better about yourself and more outgoing. Maybe your personality changes a little bit with the plastic surgery. However, it can have also negative effects. Maybe you would think, oh, I'll never look good enough, I need this other surgery. And then that doesn't work out to your expectations, and you need another surgery. So it becomes a very Dangerous game where it becomes just more and more surgery that, it, that is needed, and you're chasing this ideal. Because in these videos, it seems like no one ever reaches their ideal image. They just keep on having multiple, multiple surgeries. So I think it can cause more harm than good. So I don't agree with these、uh, children having、uh, plastic surgery, even with、uh, parental consent. The children are still growing. They don't know what they're going to look like even in a year from now because they're still developing. And I don't think it's really、uh, morally a good idea for parents to interject their opinions and their insecurities on their child, causing them physical harm and undergo physical changes and even pain to have them reach. The ideals of a, of a parent.、Um, kids are malleable, kids are、um, under your care, and I think you shouldn't、uh, project your opinions on them at such a young age. It's also so weird to me that 
they're talking about this nine-year-old girl potentially getting breast implants one day. Yeah, so I thought that was really weird about, uh, you know, the, the interviewer mentioned uh, breast implants. And uh, the mom was like, oh, you know, she's still developing and things like that. But to even mention that about a nine-year-old girl who um, didn't even have breasts to begin with, and you're talking about surgery already, I think that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's clear that the mom like had thought of it. I think the interviewer was just trying to see how far the mom is go is willing to go yeah. with this, and yeah. it's so sad. She also says that you know her daughter having plastic surgery will get her further in life. I yeah. know that you know the Asian cultures are much different. <laughs> yeah, but. What do you think of that? Don't you think that's a terrible way to let your children think? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's very dangerous uh, to think that plastic surgery can help you get ahead. So with those numbers in Japan, and we know in Korea too, just a large number of patients having plastic surgery, you know, if you have plastic surgery, okay, the they're like, a lot of people ahead of you that have had a lot more surgery. So then you're going to race to have more surgery and more surgery. And it just becomes this slippery slope of just, you know, winding up like this patient at the beginning who had over 100 surgical procedures to achieve that ideal. Had they achieved it? Probably not because they keep on changing their image. So I really don't endorse it. I think it's a very dangerous game and I don't think morally and ethically you should project your opinions. That's what they are, opinions. On your child especially if it's something permanent what are the laws for the US as far as like children getting surgery uh, you can undergo surgery with your uh, parents consent or your legal garden guardians consent at any age at any age oh wow yeah have you ever had any kids come in wanting anything done yeah so with we had a uh, I think she was about 15 years old and uh, she wanted a tummy tuck and uh, tummy tuck and liposuction and I said you know because of your I listened to her and uh, we consulted with her we examined her but at the end of the day I told her look you know because of your age we have to get your mom's consent so I talked to the mom and mom just begged me not to do the procedure so I wasn't going to do the procedure anyway uh, because you know I the patient wasn't fully developed. Um, you know, she needed to uh, be at least uh, 18, 21 to make a good focused decision. So we did not do the surgery on multiple, multiple levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, final thoughts. Uh, so final thoughts. Um, you know, I think respecting cultures is very important. Uh, we shouldn't uh, project our opinions on anybody else's culture. I mean, this is the way things are in Japan. Uh, I just know for me personally, and at least in the U.S., uh, that this uh, wouldn't fly on a nine-year-old in the U.S. Um, so again, we need to respect other cultures, but at the end of the day, it's not something I would do or something I would endorse to do cosmetic surgery on a nine-year-old. So this may not be all of Japan. Uh, this is just one incident that the reporters are focusing on. But double eyelid surgery is the most common cosmetic procedure, at least in Japan. So it's a very popular procedure. But I wouldn't suggest doing it on patients that are younger than 18 or even 21 years old. Make them uh, decide when they're of age. Don't inflict it or impose it when they're of younger age. So we send our good energy wishes to Michi and her mom. Uh, we were just commenting on your video, and I hope uh, all is well in Japan. Thanks for watching another Plastic Surgery 902 in a video, and I'll see you next time.